What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, the Google Chromecast is unique, powerful, and very affordable. But you know, us Android users can be very stingy when it comes to paying for things. So, why not make your own Google Chromecast? It's very easy and simple to do thanks to an app developed by XA4 member MAUI. Now, in order to do this, you will need to have access to a second Android device, and that's it. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, we're here with the current setup, two Android devices. And what makes this all possible is an app called Cheapcast. And I think it's an appropriate title because it's cheap. So, needless to say, it's available free within the Google Play Store, but I mean it's cheap in a good way. What this does, it takes the content that you want to stream to your Chromecast, quote unquote, and streams it to your other Android device. So, let's open this up and see how this works. So you want this app installed on a device that you want to be the receiver. So for example, on my Nexus 7, I want this to be receiver. I want this to play the videos or music files or whatever that I cast from my phone. So if that makes sense, you want it to be the receiver that you install it on. Uh, so open this up. The app is very simple as a simple UI. Hit the play button and it'll start the service. You can change the name to it, how it will appear to other devices. Um, in addition, you can do start and boot. Um, and you can also donate to the developer, which will be cool, and analytics, and um, custom service. So, really, all you need to know is to hit that start button and start the service. Now, since I'm not really using this device as the receiver, I'm just going to end this, and let's actually get down to using this. So, I'm just going to open up one of my videos, and up here in the right-hand corner in the YouTube app, you see this little icon. And if you're probably wondering what that means, well, that's the Chromecast icon. So, we're going to go here, and I'm going to click that icon. So, say connecting. Then on my tablet right in front of me, once the video opens, it's going to play right through the tablet. So it's connecting through there. And there we go. Now what's cool is on my device, I have controls to pause it. I can pause it and I can play it. So what's cool is like, just like if I'm using Chromecast, it works the same way. I can pause and play it remotely. Chromecast also works with Google Play Music, so you can open up the music app. Now one thing you should note, if you don't see this icon in the upper right hand corner, what you might have to do is go back and close out the YouTube app if you're casting to that, because I just actually had that issue. I was freaking out, it's like, where did my icon go? But um, yeah, so if that icon's not there, close out any other previous apps that you might be closing or casting, and that should work. All right, so demonstrate a song, which hopefully I'm not gonna be hit with copyright. Let's try this one. And we're gonna cast this. See, worked perfectly. All right, guys. So that has been an overview of the app Cheapcast. Now, if you're wondering how does this relate to Chromecast, because you know Chromecast, you're actually supposed to hook into your TV. Well, of course, if you have a device with an HDMI output, you can easily hook that in. So, for example, on my Nexus Seven, I can just use a Slim port and hook up to my HDTV and. Everything happens on there will be on the TV. So it's pretty much acting as a Chromecast. Same way if I want to do it with my HD1, just get the appropriate uh, cables and hook up to a TV and it will work as well. And even if you have a little Android stick, was it that like $30 Android stick, you can even use that to Chromecast as well. So get the whole Chromecast experience. But like I said, this has been Cheapcast. It's available free within the Google Play Store. I highly suggest that you download it, have fun with it, check it out, and just, yeah. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more galvanizing videos. Thanks.